Hello and welcome to this quick little tutorial. My name is Niels Mattel and today I want to teach you something about the lattice modifier in Blender. I think it's one of the most underestimated and ignored features, so you can make awesome and mesmerizing effects using it. It's a tiny little feature with a lot of potential. Here you can see a little animation I've did using this modifier and I wouldn't be able to achieve this effect without it. It's a little feature with a lot of potential and today I'm going to teach you how to use it. Even if you work with the lattice is pretty simple, the actual modifier can be really complicated or confusing. So I'm gonna quickly explain it. A lattice works like this. You have first the cube and you can apply different settings to this cube. For example how many rows on the x, y or z axis should be filled in. And the lattice works pretty simple. You have an object with a lattice modifier. If your object is on the right side of the letters, uh, the deformations you have applied to the right side of the letters will deform the object itself. On the other hand, if your object is on the left side of the letters, the deformations you have done on the left side of the letters will deform the object. This whole thing of course does apply to the X, Y, Z axis, so it's not only left and right, but top, bottom. I hope you get the point. If not, watch closely. Well, here you can see the final setup I've made. You see the lattice. And when I'm moving it over this A or this little mesh, it's deforming. Pretty simple. And this is what it looks if it's rendered out. So I'm gonna open my setup for this tutorial. Well, it looks like this. I have this uh, little mesh you see here and the top. There's this topology. It's not really even and you really need to change this. The thing you want is to go from this to a mesh with even typology and a high density of vertices. In order to do this I simply extruded my mesh. The remesh modifier only works like this. You add a remesh modifier, set it to sharp and just increase the density of vertices. Well, next step is to apply it and simply delete uh, all these vertices I've just extruded out so you just have a plane two-dimensional object and it has a high den uh, density of vertices. It's now perfectly what we want. I'm gonna add a lattice and you see it looks like a cube and the settings are the properties window. You see a special window and since we have a 2D object I delete the Z axis, the Y axis. First off I'm gonna only uh, change something on the X axis and I'm gonna pull it up a bit maybe add a bit more vertices. Well, now I'm just uh, funneling around a bit until I have something I like. The next step is to simply add a lattice modifier to your object. Select your other lattice, you can see there are some settings like the strength, how much it gets influenced. And now if you move the lattice, you might see uh, the effect that I noted or explained uh, at the beginning of this video. The lattice stripes down a bit. I'm gonna increase uh, the resolution of this lattice on and yeah there's a bit of thumbling I still have to do. I'm gonna add a new dimension on it to it, the y-axis and well I'm just uh, making some things a bit different, change one or another thing. Well now um, I'm pretty uh, satisfied with my result so uh, looking at this whole thing I'm gonna add a solidify modifier afterwards uh, after the lattice on my A so it has a bit of yeah volume to it and it actually does look pretty great now I'm satisfied and I hope you have learned something in this tutorial uh, consider liking this video giving a thumb up maybe even consider subscribing that's it. Have a nice day. Ciao.